What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, um, we've been pretty busy trying to catch up from FL2K and now we're trying to get my old car ready for World Cup Finals, which is a whole another story. <laughs> Joe's gonna post a video on his channel, I think, but some interesting things happened while we were uh, trying to fix some things on the car and trying to upgrade the car and whatever. Uh, Joe will probably go over that in another video, but um, I'm pretty sure, like 90% sure that I'm going, which is really exciting because I've always watched that race every year on TV. And uh, to actually be able to go would be sick. The, uh, the caliber of cars there is insane. The caliber of track, the weather, it's all insane. It's, it's next level for sure. Um, so hopefully go to that World Cup Finals import versus domestic. And uh, without further ado, oh, by the way, the Bellag giveaway uh, we're supposed to have an answer by like this week at the end of this week If not early next week and then we'll announce the winner and I'm already working on the next giveaway, which is Ooh, it's sick. It's something to do with streetcar Joe So you guys pay close attention keep watching the videos and subscribe, but without further ado Let's see what this new race card holds. Oh boy, this is some streetcar shit if I've ever seen it <laughs> So, um, I talked about I know I'm not showing the car, but most of you have already figured it out, but I'll show you the car in case you haven't figured it out or if you've been under a rock for the last couple weeks. But biggest things um, that I've noticed is the Coyote platform can make a lot of power. Um, it's still, I wouldn't say newer, but you got to think like LS stuff has been around for a long, long, long time. So people have figured it out. People know what to do with them, how to mod them, how to make them super fast. They've thrown them in lightweight cars, heavy cars, whatever, all the cars. Um, and only a few people have started dabbling with that with coyotes. Um, and a lot of people that have, majority of the people that have, um, have been doing like no time stuff or grudge racing. Um, some of the fastest coyotes are no time cars that nobody knows about or knows how fast they are or they might not have like a social media where they're posting all the time. So you just don't hear about those things. Um, but you know, stock block LS records, I mean, they're all over the place. You know, you see that stuff posted everywhere. People are always chasing it. People are building specific cars for it. Um, so, and I feel like people are doing that with coyotes, just not as popular, I would say. And so for the last year or two, I've always said, and I know a lot of people have said like, man, I wish somebody would throw a stock block coyote, a cast block, and a super, super legit fox body or something similar that's a lightweight roller. And some people have. Um, and they're, like I said, there's some fast ones out there, but they're no time cars. Um, it's not to say that I'm not going to do no time. I haven't decided specifically what I want to do with the car. I'm still kind of on the fence, but um, there's just not that many out there. There's only a handful out there. And there's some really legit ones. Um, there's definitely legit ones. I'm not taking away from anybody. It's just, I have a vision and so does Joe that we've been wanting to do with the coyote. Someone sold me a junk roller. Just kidding. Uh, the glue was coming off on that early. I just put it up there. Um, so <laughs> Joe bought this Fox body with all intentions of actually doing a coyote swap. So he, he hadn't told anybody yet. He was going to post about it. And uh, so he started gathering parts, got, you know, everything he needed. He got the transmission. He got the shifter. Um, he got the intake manifold, the fuel system for the most part, um, the turbo, the blow off valve, the waste gates, the holly, the holly screen that's in front of me. Um, you know, all the wiring, pretty much everything you would need to complete the car. Um, and he was going to do a coyote. And he hadn't talked about this yet, so he's probably going to kill me. But Joe had planned to do a Coyote because we were going to push it. Um, we we're going to push my car, the S550, and then we we're going to push Joe's Fox with a Coyote and see just how fast we could go with a Coyote. Um, but things, you know, my car got finished. I mentioned selling it to somebody. You know how that all unfolded. I ended up selling the car. And there was only one way that I would sell my S550. And that is if I could get into a super, super nice Fox body 
that's already lightweight, already has the cage I need. I don't, you know, I didn't want to go. I talked about buying a Fox body a long time ago and I had been looking here and there and I was going to buy one just kind of real cheap and then send it to a chassis shop and just pretty much wait. Who knows? God knows how long, one, two years, whatever. But when someone offered me a good amount of money for my car, my only option was, or the only way I would sell the car is if I could immediately get a super badass roller. So I, I told Joe, I was like, hey, I want to come. This is part of our conversation. I don't even know whatever happened to that video. But I was like, hey, I want to come over and talk to you. The guy wants to buy my car. I want to, you know, see your opinion on it. Tell me what you think. And he goes, I'm about to make you the best deal of your lifetime. And I said, on my freaking way with ice cream, Bangkok, whatever you want. <laughs> so I go over to Joe's and we make a deal on the Fox body. But the deal was I had to buy everything he had already bought, which was perfect because I was going to do a coyote anyways. Um, you know, he's, he needs a few things. He needs, um, you know, like plumbing and some small stuff. And I still, you know, I still had to buy some heads and ship the heads off and yada, 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 whatever. We'll get more into that in later videos. But so I made a deal with Joe on Joe's Fox body, the Fox body that he bought that he was going to build. Um, and he ended up getting a different car, which I don't know if we're going to talk about or not. So I won't say anything about it. Um, but that car is going to help Coyote direct in the long run, which is really awesome. Um, so anyways, I picked up Joe's Fox body roller. It's a, uh, originally built by where at race cars, which is so funny. Once I bought the car from Joe, like, I don't know, a month or two ago when all this happened, I started sharing some where at race cars, Instagram stuff, just to hint, see if anybody would pick up on it. Nobody did, but they build super, super badass, uh, nitrous, no time cars. And they make these foxes really lightweight. And the chassis work is, is some of the best I've seen. I haven't seen everybody. So I'm sure, you know, there might be somebody better, but they build some really, really legit stuff. And so that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a super lightweight Fox, but that had the right cage, you know, funny car hoops and 25, three, 25, five, whatever. Um, cause I plan to push this thing really fast, but I want to be safe about it. And, uh, that was kind of the next step for the S550 was we were going to get it going, turn it up, start leaning on it, and then send it off to a chassis shop and get, you know, 25, whatever, and try and pull some more weight out of the car while adding the correct cage. So like I said, the only way I was going to sell that car is if I could immediately jump into something because it took me so long to build the other car because of parts and time and all that stuff adds and, you know, plays a role. Joe pretty much had almost all the parts stacked up. So it was a perfect buy. I got the roller. I got all the parts to get it started. Um, we don't have an engine yet, but I do. The engine's being built. It's being built in the background by RPG, of course, this whole time. Nobody knows about that. Joe's going to kill me. Um, <laughs> but uh, so I'm already in queue for an engine, which works out perfectly. Uh, I had to buy some heads. I have the heads. They're getting sent off to Frankenstein for port and polish and a valve job and yada, yada, yada. We'll get more into that to get to the specifics of the build. But yes, I bought a super nice, lightweight Fox body roller. Uh, call it a race car, street car, call it whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care anymore. I'm over the, the you know, trying to convince people of a street car. Listen, whatever car you show up with, if it fits the fucking rules of the class, it fits the rules. If it doesn't fit the rules, then it doesn't fit the rules. But if it fits the rules of a streetcar class, then that's what it is. And people want to cry and bitch and moan and whatever. I don't really care anymore. I just want to go ridiculously fast. Whatever classes I fit, I'm going to race them. If I don't fit them, I'm not going to race them. That's part of it. So without further ado, let me show you what this thing looks like. Already got the... Uh, the car is super dusty, by the way. It's just been hanging out. Uh, got the new Coyote Direct logo already on the horn button. Shout out Maven Performance. And uh, boom, look at that. Huge Holly Dash already in it. So if you guys have been following Joe's uh, channel, he had actually made a video like mounting the dash and stuff and made this little car. Oh, oh, shit. Made this <laughs> little carbon fiber trim piece, which is super nice. So got the Holly Dash already in there. Um, it is a stock floor car, so, you know, I wish it did have carbon floors, actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't give a shit. I just want the car super light and super fast, but I did wish I had carbon floors, so maybe that's an upgrade someday, but it's got super nice doors, um, nice dash, like nothing's really cut up 
I mean, it's just, it's a really nice car. You got CO2 launcher for the parachutes, twin parachutes, of course. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna go too much into the car because most of y'all should know it because it was on Joe's channel already. So, um, but yeah, it's got some super nice parts already on. Already got the Mark Mickey shifter in there. There's already, there's actually a power glide already in here. So the trans is in, um, yeah. So awesome. for those of you who haven't seen the outside of the car, this is what it looks like. It is a super nice roller. They don't get, I'm sure there's cleaner ones than this. Obviously it's got like small imperfections, but um, for the most part for a race car, this thing is super, super nice. Um, Joe actually just had the front end painted, painted and uh, some stuff covered up because it did have exhaust holes before um, because it was a nitrous car. So Joe had those filled in and got the front end painted and then they did have the paint coming out to here, um, so Joe kind of changed the scheme up. I don't know what I'm doing about the color yet. I actually really think the two-tone is sick. I was gonna call the car Two-Face <laughs> with the two-tone paint job. I thought it was really cool, but I've also talked about painting the car the same color the S550 was, so I don't know. Um, I'm still in debate on that, but that's pretty much the car. Super nice, super lightweight. Um, it actually could be lighter. There's some things we could change to make it lighter, but twin parachutes, super nice Marty Marilat rear end. Let me show you guys. <laughs> so super nice Marty Marilat rear end, Menskers in the rear, um, has sand tough, uh, spindle mount fronts and obviously welds all the way around. But yeah, it is just a roller right now. Um, waiting to go to Joe's. We pretty much have enough stuff where we can get started on it. Like I said, I bought the car with all the parts from Joe because he was about to start a build on it. And uh, yeah, I am freaking, to say I'm excited is a super, super understatement. I mean, this car is probably my dream race car, I guess you could say. Um, like I said, there's I'm sure there's nicer ones out there, but you know, for what I can afford, this is like a reach of my, like, this is my dream car. That's like within reach. Um, you know, I had to sell my kidney and stuff to buy it from Joe, but this is literally my dream race car. I mean, I, I've always wanted a Fox body. Um, but you know, you got to be able to pay cash for rollers like this. You know, it's like, like you're going to the bank and you're like, Hey, uh, I'm buying a, uh, 25, five, <laughs> 650 certed Fox body. Can I get a cashier's check? You know, you, you got to be able to pay cash for these things. So that's so it. So hopefully you guys are ex excited as I am. This is going to take me to like the next level, I feel like. And the S550, I'm still super excited about that. I'm still kind of sour that I didn't get to push it to the limits that I know it can go. Um, but luckily, Barry and I have become good friends with the new owner. Um, and so I kind of get to, you know, I get to work on the car still, I get to maintenance it, I get to upgrade it and I get to go to the races with him and to see that thing succeed. It's already gone faster than I went with it. It has a huge amount of potential left in it. And so I'm still really excited to see what that car can do. And then we're going to get this car done and have both cars out and it's going to be amazing. So you guys will see the build on this hopefully is going to start in the next week or two. We were going to start on it already. But uh, Barry wants to go to World Cup Finals, so we actually have my old car at Joe's house, and we're maintaining it and doing some upgrades for World Cup Finals over there because my shop is full. Um, so we're kind of, you know, juggling a few things right now. But once that's done, this car will end up at Joe's, and we will start the build on it. So comment down below what you guys think. Should I keep the two tone? God, that thing is tiny. It's like a little toy car. <laughs> um, or should I paint it the color that the S550 was? And um, like I said, I already have the next giveaway pretty much mapped out. It's gonna involve Streetcar Joe, and I think you guys are gonna be super excited about it. It's another big, big thing um, that's gonna get you entered by just buying shit from me and CoyoteDirect.com. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am, but me and Streetcar Joe, we're back, baby, building another monster.